Polyvinyl chloride, commonly known as PVC, is a durable material similar to plastic. PVC gloves are waterproof, even chemical proof. All kinds of laborers wear them, from commercial fishermen to oil refinery workers. PVC gloves are comfortably flexible yet sturdy. Production begins at the cutting station with stacked sheets of cotton flannel. Using a hydraulic cutting machine and a series of dies, workers slice through some 20 layers in one fell swoop, cutting out the pieces required to make cotton gloves. Those gloves will either be sold as is or used as linings for PVC gloves. The next step is to sew the pieces together. It takes a speedy seamstress just 30 seconds per hand. Next, they sew on a wrist made of a stretchy cotton and lycra knit. This seamstress works the wristing machine so quickly, we had to ask her to slow down so that we could actually see what she's doing. Throughout the sewing process, these cotton gloves have been inside out. This next machine turns them right side in, transferring them onto a heated hand form. The machine then presses each glove onto the form. The gloves drop down to a conveyor belt below. It transports them to a worker who inspects them and pairs them up left and right. Elsewhere in the factory, meanwhile, workers prepare the PVC solution. The recipe varies according to the glove model, but generally consists of coloring and five to eight different chemicals. They add an antibacterial antifungal solution to combat odor from hand perspiration. To apply the PVC, workers slip a metal form into the thumb of each lining, then put the lining onto a thumbless hand form. If the hand and thumb forms were one piece, it would be difficult to remove the stiff PVC glove afterward without tearing. The linings go through what's called the singer, a propane flame that burns off any dust or loose threads. it's into the PVC bath. The basin of liquid PVC moves upward, coating the liners. As the basin descends, the excess drips off. Then the gloves go for a spin under infrared lamps for 45 seconds. The spinning spreads the PVC uniformly so that it doesn't accumulate on the tips of the fingers forming clumps. The heat ensures it dries evenly. After a second coat, the gloves pass through a propane-fired furnace for about 20 minutes at 190 degrees Celsius, then through a cooling chamber for 5 minutes. For glove models with extra strong grip, they blow PVC chips onto the first coat of PVC while it's still wet. When the gloves go through the furnace, the heat embeds the chips. After cooling, the gloves are dried and cured and ready to handle a hard day's work.